guys, Dan here from Circuit Band. Today we're working with the Circuit Band ball attachment to improve line out throwing and passing. As you know, the core musculature is the most important thing when it comes to developing skill sets in rugby. The Circuit Band ball attachment helps develop that core musculature by overloading the particular muscles involved in the movement while still respecting the proprioception that goes on with those movements. Okay, as you can see, this is a match quality ball that we're using. It's the same weight and size as a regular ball. And what we're doing with this resistance band is overloading that in a particular fashion, which is gonna directly oppose the target that the thrower is trying to hit. Now, as an example of this, I'm gonna run through this now, just a few drills that we do with this. This particular attachment actually records the forces that are running through the exercise. And we've got uh, Jace here, who's uh, holding our laptop, or our notepad, he is the coach. And I'm gonna run through it through drills. Now what this is meant to do is challenge the core stability from many different points. So as I rotate, his core is adapting and rotating with me, or anti-rotating. This creates a far stronger foundation to throw from. Okay, that's one of the drills we can do. How does that feel? Is that good tension? Cool, and uh, what are we looking at here, Jace? I think his core was battling at the start. His core was battling at the start, that's good. Just... No, that's okay. We'll get, some, uh, we'll get some better data soon. Okay, the second drill we're gonna do is actually working the muscle in the opposite way, developing the same muscles, but just in a different way to challenge our core even further. So if you can take a step back there, Corey. Cool, and I'm gonna stand here. And all we're doing here is just working the muscle in the opposite direction. How's our readings? Cool. So come forward slowly. Three kilo, cool. Yeah, and uh, do a line out throwing motion. Yeah, and then, yeah, and back. Now what this is doing is working our muscle uh, in the eccentric rather than the concentric. And what that's gonna do is challenge our core even more and build the specific movement up. And again, a huge focus here on the proprioception, getting everything the same as it would be in a game, but just adding load. Cool, how are we looking? What was our max? Didn't see. Didn't see? It was about 4.5 kilos. There's the bar graph. Oh, you'd be right. Oh no, we're hitting uh, six kg. Six kilo. Oh, nice work. Radio. The final uh, drill is to do a more traditional approach and just overload the, the movement as it happens in the game. Now, by holding more of the, the band up here, it's going to make it harder, or by holding it at the end, it's going to make it easier. As a coach, I can apply as much load as I want. Obviously, we have the, the data here that uh, Jace is holding. I can also rotate, but for this, I'm gonna stand straight back, and uh, Corey is just gonna go through the motion of a line-out throw. Nice work. Nice work, and that's it. And all we're doing there is overloading the specific movement while we're still respecting the proprioception of that movement. Uh, with this exercise, it's all about core stability. It's all about the brain connecting to each of the muscles involved in that movement. Cool, and that's the circuit man ball attachment for line out throwing. Dan Thompson from Circuit Band, and today we're working with the Circuit Band ball attachment to improve passing in rugby. So what we have here is a ball that's uh, the official size and weight, which is very important in making sure that we're respecting that, that proprioception. Now, that's got a little uh, fabric tag in the back of it, which allows us to attach a resistance band to it. And then, as an added bonus today, we have the Circuit Band stretch sensor. Now what this is doing is actually stretching with the rest of the band and telling us how much load we're actually applying to the movement. Now, this can actually calculate the rate of force development, the overall force and range of motion of the movement. And this actually helps us pick up asymmetries in the movement as well, and lets us know what position is optimal to complete this movement. So what we're gonna do now is put that all into practice and run through this movement. Okay, so as we know, a pass pretty much goes lateral across the field, so we're gonna apply a lateral load. First exercise, we're gonna keep our feet nice spread apart, and I'm gonna stand out here. This exercise is gonna be done in three phases. The 
first is here, the second is here, and the third is here with a nice two second pause. Nice, that's rep one. Now what we're seeing in there is huge activation from the lats and the shoulders and all the other muscles involved in passing, particularly the stabilizers in the lower legs as well. What we're looking to do next is a similar thing, but this time it's a far more fluid motion, but we still have the pause at the end to improve the stabilization. Nice work. And as we know, rugby is not played off two feet very often. What we're gonna see is when a player makes a breakaway or a first five catches the ball, the idea is to distribute that ball off one foot. What we're gonna work on is passing the ball off one foot and inc increasing our balance and our stability through our core. Now this is a very tough exercise, we'll see how we go. So stand on one foot, probably your best foot. I'm gonna apply as little load as possible and do the exact same thing off one foot. Nice, perfect. Nice work. Now, obviously, with this exercise, we want to balance everything up. So I'll ask you to just do the same movement from the opposite side. So what we're doing here is developing the pass of one foot. Now, with the sensors as well, we're going to see an instant uh, difference between the left and the right, depending on the uh, athlete and his good and bad side. What we're going to see early on is uh, early stage pass development is a weakness in the skill set, especially off the one foot. It'll help expose uh, limitations of the athlete and uh, set a course for uh, how we can develop that player into a uh, proficient passer. Cool, I'm Dan Thompson, and that was the circuit band ball attachment. Dan Thompson from Circuban, and today we're working with the Circuban ball attachment to improve passing in rugby. So what we have here is a ball that's uh, the official size and weight, which is very important in making sure that we're respecting that, that proprioception. Now, that's got a little uh, fabric tag in the back of it, which allows us to attach a resistance band to it. And then, as an added bonus today, we have the Circuban stretch sensor. Now what this is doing is actually stretching with the rest of the band and telling us how much load we're actually applying to the movement. Now, this can actually calculate the rate of force development, the overall force and range of motion of the movement. And this actually helps us pick up asymmetries in the movement as well, and lets us know what position is optimal to complete this movement. So what we're gonna do now is put that all into practice and run through this movement. Okay, so as we know, a pass pretty much goes lateral across the field, so we're gonna apply a lateral load. First exercise, we're gonna keep our feet nice spread apart, and I'm gonna stand out here. This exercise is gonna be done in three phases. The first is here, the second is here, and the third is here with a nice two second pause. Nice, that's rep one. Now what we're seeing in there is huge activation from the lats and the shoulders and all the other muscles involved in passing, particularly the stabilizers in the lower legs as well. What we're looking to do next is a similar thing, but this time it's a far more fluid motion, but we still have the pause at the end to improve the stabilization. Nice work. And as we know, rugby is not played off two feet very often. What we're gonna see is when a player makes a breakaway or a first five catches the ball, the idea is to distribute that ball off one foot. What we're gonna work on is passing the ball off one foot and inc increasing our balance and our stability through our core. Now this is a very tough exercise, we'll see how we go. So stand on one foot, probably your best foot. I'm gonna apply as little load as possible and do the exact same thing off one foot. Nice, perfect. Nice work. Now, obviously, with this exercise, we want to balance everything up. So I'll ask you to just do the same movement from the opposite side. So what we're doing here is developing the pass off one foot. Now, with the sensors as well, we're going to see an instant uh, difference between the left and the right, depending 
on the uh, athlete and his good and bad side. What we're going to see early on is uh, early stage pass development is a weakness in the skill set, especially off the one foot. It'll help expose uh, limitations of the athlete and uh, set a course for uh, how we can develop that player into a uh, proficient passer. Cool, I'm Dan Thompson and that was the Circuit Band Ball Attachment.